Hi, I'm Dr. John Martin with Ivy Family Health Updates, and I'm here today with my sister, Dr. Catherine Martin, and my brother, Dr. Edward Martin, and today we are going to be talking about rosacea. Rosacea is a chronic skin condition characterized by redness, flushing of the face, sometimes little acne breakouts, little pustules along the face, and in more severe cases, you will start to see changes in both uh, the shape of the nose and the size of the glands and the pores. Now, we're not exactly sure what causes rosacea, but there may be uh, one cause, which is called a Devodex mite. It's a little mite that may be living in the hair follicles, and there's a theory now that that may be causing some of the inflammation. But we know there's also a genetic component to it, because you definitely see it more in fair-skinned, blue-eyed individuals. And usually not until people get into their 30s and 40s, and what you will start to see is flushing of the face, uh, easy redness, and with time, you'll start to get little capillaries that will develop along the skin, and even later on, much larger veins in the face. Now, certainly one of the, uh, one example would be W.C. Fields. For those of you who remember him, he had very advanced rosacea. And there are certain triggers for some people, extremes of temperature, cold or heat, alcohol, spicy foods. So if you know what triggers your rosacea, uh, you should try to avoid those products. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know, uh, sun exposure is also going to worsen this. And in some people, uh, excessive alcohol consumption may worsen it as well. Mm -hmm. Because of that, a lot of people who do have rosacea uh, are worried about being labeled as an excessive drinker simply because they have bad rosacea. And I know that some people are you know, just concerned socially about mm -hmm. the stigma involved mm -hmm. with that. So how do we treat rosacea? Well, we can treat it with uh, a topical antibiotic cream such as Metrogel or Metrocream. And what those do is they help decrease the inflammation in the glands. The other uh, frequently used medication is an antibiotic that you take by mouth, and it's usually either doxycycline or minocycline. Those are in the tetracycline family, and they work very well, but you have to take them for long periods of time, mm -hmm. and some people do not want to take an antibiotic for long periods of time. You actually take a subtherapeutic dose, so uh, you're not really taking enough to kill any bacterial infections, but still some people don't want to take it long term. Mm -hmm. It's the same medicine we use for acne in children. And is, are you, is the goal to cure the rosacea? The goal is to control. Okay. It's, it's not a cure, it's a control. There's a new medication out called Oratia for rosacea, mm -hmm. and that's even a lower dose uh, medication, and it's a combination of a uh, long-acting and a short-acting doxycycline. Mm -hmm. Now what I have people do is usually start on it every day, and then what you can do is decrease it, and if you tend to get a flare-up, you can increase again to every day. And interestingly, because uh, some people do get the acne, with it, it used to be called acne rosacea, mm -hmm. but now we just call it rosacea because people mm -hmm. didn't like the acne uh, part of the mm -hmm. term. So has anyone followed up on this mite theory? Mites? There are a lot of studies being done with that, and I think that that's probably going to be a big part of the rosacea mm -hmm. component. And, and uh, what do you do once the nose is involved? Is there anything you can do to reverse that process? Well, what I do a lot of now are laser treatments. And what the laser does is we use an intense pulse light to shrink down the, uh, the vessels. And what that do, will do, it'll decrease the inflammation uh, component to the skin. It will also decrease the redness and the flushing that you will see uh, when you have any of your triggers. The other thing you can do, if someone develops a rhinophyma where you get the big nodules on the nose, with a CO2 laser you can actually sculpt those down okay. and get a fairly normal appearing nose uh, once you've done that treatment. So, What we're going to do now is going to just show you a demonstration of how the laser works and how it can help decrease the redness in the face for patients who have rosacea. Now what we have here is an intense pulse light system, and you'll see that light, this produces a light source which is coming through, and the light is filtered by the lens system that we have here, and it really makes it very specific for both uh, blood vessels and pigmentation. And what we're going to be using it for today are the blood vessels that you see with rosacea. Now, Ed just has a few red spots and some brown spots. This is sort of a combination of rosacea and old sun damage. And what we do is we just run the light source along the skin 
and some of the redness will go away immediately, and the brown spots will often take a few days. But you really can see a, a dramatic decrease in the redness of the skin. So I'm going to put on my glasses too. Be very, very bright. And you just tell the person to close their eyes. But what we do is we just run the laser along the skin. It will often take two to three treatments to get rid of a lot of the vessels. And then I have people usually come in every four to six months just to keep it under control. And that's how our laser treatment works for rosacea.